C. Lindelof videos, AP calculus, tangent line to an ellipse at a given point. So this is implicit differentiation. And what we're given, this is, God, I can't believe that. This is number 41 for us. We're given x squared over 2 plus y squared over 8 equal to 1 at the point 1, 2. So that's where we start from. And all we have to do here is kind of get through this little piece of calculus and then use point slope form to come up with our equation. So let's see if we can differentiate this thing. So the first thing I am going to do is I am going to differentiate this thing. So I'm going to declare that I'm going to take d dx of this thing. The other thing I'm going to do is this, and you don't have to do this, but I'm taking d dx of 1 half x squared plus 1 eighth y squared equal to 1 at the point 1, 2. Maybe this doesn't bother you. I just like it this way. I can kind of see it better. So I'm going to go ahead and just start differentiating. And as you do, it cleans up really nicely. I mean, this is not a big deal, I don't think. Um, d dx of this is just x, isn't it? Plus 1 fourth y times y prime is equal to 0. Isn't that right? So I'm using the chain rule here. I'm using the chain rule here. So I take the derivative of the outside. So 2 times 1 eighth is 1 fourth. I decrement this exponent from 2 to 1. And then I look at y as if y is its own function inside. And what's the derivative of y? y prime. This is how I did all that. I'm going to solve for y prime now and get and get um, y prime is equal to I should just do the math 4x over y I'm skipping some of the algebra because I'm trying to get to the meat of the matter but I just moved this over I added negative x here what I did here is I put y over 4 and I multiplied by the reciprocal to get that now I'm going to evaluate, I'm going to go ahead and evaluate y prime at 1, 2, which is negative 4 over 2, isn't it? Which is equal to negative 2. So I just evaluated that because I want to, what I really want to get to, because here's where the money is, is I want to get to this. y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. Therefore, I have... Here's my x and y values, x and y values. So I get y minus 1 is equal to negative 2 times x minus, hope this is 2, isn't it? Sorry, 2 minus 1 here, right? Simplify my math out here, and this goes to y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. Done and done. So, again, skip some of the algebra, but hopefully this made sense to you. This, again, is not a really difficult thing to do, and I think that you're going to be asked to do this on the, definitely on the pre-response part of the AP exam, but also on the multiple choice part. So make sure you're able to clean up your algebra, all right? Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you haven't already subscribed, please do.